what you just watched wasn't expensive VFX and it wasn't stitched together in 10 different apps. That was Clean01, the newest unified multimodal video engine that is available on Higgsfield AI. Most AI tools just generate random clips. This model is designed to actually edit and restyle them whether you want hyperrealism, claymation or anime all in one place. You have complete control over the environment. You can shift the weather conditions to set a different mood, replace the background entirely to transport your subject to a new location or seamlessly integrate new objects and props for your character to interact with. It's about manipulating the reality of the scene while keeping the original motion intact. What, 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 So what exactly is a unified multimodal video generator? Unified means this engine handles all those tasks in one place. And multimodal means it understands text, images and video simultaneously. It doesn't just see pixels, it understands the context of your shot, allowing you to generate, edit and control everything just by typing. Alright, let's get our hands dirty. As I mentioned, Clean01 is hosted right here on the Higgsfield AI platform. To access it, just use the link in the video description. Once we access the platform, just hover over the video tab in the main menu. You'll see the option for Clean01. Click that and welcome to your new command center. The interface is quite simple. You don't have complex node graphs or confusing sliders. It's broken down into distinct engines, but today we're focusing on the two most important ones found right here on the left, Create Video and Edit Video. First, let's look at Create Video. This isn't just basic text video. Look at this section here. You can upload up to seven different reference images or elements. This is how you keep characters and styles consistent. And right next to that, you have the start and end frame controls. This lets you dictate exactly how the shot begins and how it resolves, giving you total directional control over the movement. But the true power of this engine lies here in the Edit Video tab. This is where we do the heavy lifting. You start by uploading your base footage, anything from 3 to 10 seconds long. But here is the kicker. Even in Edit mode, you can still upload up to 4 reference elements. This means you are not just telling the AI to add a car. You can upload a specific photo of a car and the model will attempt to composite that specific object into your video. It is a massive leap forward for semantic editing. Let's jump into our first practical test. We're going to start with the most essential feature for any creator, character consistency. I have this generated image of a young woman. The goal here is simple. I want to bring her to life and have her walk down a street but I need her face and style to remain exactly the same. I'm uploading this image. By doing this, we're grounding the generation. We're telling the model, this is our subject. Do not change her identity. Next, I'm going to insert the prompt. The duration is going to be 10 seconds. As for the aspect ratio, I'm going to select 16 by 9. Then hit generate and see how the model interprets the motion while holding onto the character details. Ok, the generation is done and honestly, this is quite impressive. The model successfully took the static identity we gave it and mapped it onto a completely new 3D movement. The lighting is natural, the walk cycle is smooth, but most importantly, it is actually her. Now let's switch gears and test the frames feature. This is perfect when you have a great composition and you just want to add cinematic movement to it. I have this image of a character standing on the edge of a cliff. It is a strong static shot, but I want to turn this into an establishing drone shot. I'm uploading this image into the start frame slot. This tells the AI start exactly here. Now for the prompt, I'm going to give the model specific camera directions to create depth. I'm leaving the settings identical, 16 by 9 aspect ratio and 10 seconds duration. Let's hit generate and see if the model creates what we need. And look at that, that is clean. Notice how the camera actually travels through 3D space. We got another impressive result. 
Now let's look at the edit video tab. This is arguably the most interesting part because you are not starting from scratch. You are working with footage you already have. I'm going to edit that clip of the girl we just generated. It is a clean, sunny shot, but let's see how the model handles a complete weather shift. I'm simply inserting the new conditions I want into the prompt box. I'm keeping the auto settings on and let's go ahead and hit generate. As you can see, the model executed the task perfectly. The sunny atmosphere is completely gone, replaced by rainy weather. What's impressive here is that it didn't just add rain particles, it adjusted the entire lighting of the scene and added reflections to the pavement to match the weather. Since we successfully changed the weather to a rain, the shot now looks a bit incomplete. She's just walking. So let's try to add a prop to make it logical. I'm going to upload the image of an umbrella and modify the prompt to put an umbrella in her hand. This is actually a difficult task. The AI doesn't just need to paste an image of an umbrella, it needs to understand where her hand is, attach the object to it and track it perfectly as she walks. Let's see if it can figure out the physics. Well, as you can see, it handled that perfectly. The umbrella is actually in her hand and it moves naturally as she walks. It doesn't look like it's just pasted on top of the video, the lighting fits and it feels like a real object. Now the whole scene finally makes sense. Pretty cool and impressive. Before we wrap up, there is one small but crucial switch you need to know about to manage your costs. Right here, above the generate button, you'll see this unlimited toggle. Here is how it works. If you turn this on, the generation won't cost you any fast credits. You can generate as much as you want. The trade-off is speed. It might sit in the queue a bit longer. If you turn it off, it uses your credits to generate the video instantly. It is a great way to save your budget for when you really need speed. To actually get access to that unlimited switch, you need the ultimate plan. Until December 7th, Hicksfield is running a Cyber Monday deal with 70% off. If you look at this chart, it brings the cost per generation down to about 29 cents, which is significantly cheaper than other platforms right now. I've dropped the link to this offer in the description if you want to grab it before it expires. Alright, so a quick recap of what we built today. We took a static character and gave her a consistent walk cycle. We turned a photo of a cliff into a 3D drone shot. And finally, we used semantic editing to completely change the weather and physically place an umbrella in a character's hand. This tool is moving fast. If you want to see more workflows like this, please hit the like button. It genuinely helps the channel. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss the next AI tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.